opening this thing. That's cold. Cold open. <laughs> Funny. My name is Tiffany Tahing, fake news anchor, real life flat to me tea, Instagram influencer, and investment coach. <laughs> if you're interested in turning $50 to $5,000, you can see me after the show. You can get my cash app and I can get you started. Or if you want an hourglass body, use my code TIPST25 for 25% off your next purchase. I promise this isn't a scam. <laughs> Anywho, here's what we missed. Officials at Buckingham Palace have released a statement asking mourners to refrain from leaving Pattinson Bear themed gifts and marmalade sandwiches at the Queen's Memorial sites. Please stop, they've asked. The marmalade keeps attracting Charles. <laughs> Late night talk show host Jimmy Kimmel faces backlash this week as he lies down during Quintus Brunson's Emmy speech. We think it was an attempt at comedy. <laughs> Kimmel did something unfunny. Shocker. <laughs> a recent study shows ketamine can possibly help with depression treatment. It's like the saying, every time you do ketamine, a horse goes to surgery fully awake. <laughs> Which is what listening to Jimmy Kimmel's jokes feel like. <laughs> Robot cockroaches are reality, folks. Engineers wire computers into the nervous system of live cockroaches in order to remote control them. The NSA can already see inside your text and internet searches, so why not see inside your bathroom and pipes? After all, the rights of privacy means nothing to those soulless bottom feeders. XO, XO, the government. <laughs> Beloved actress Sarah Sardon, Susan Sardon, came out as bisexual this past week. Ooh. Again. <laughs> See, folks, you're never too old to discover new things about yourself. Like how my dad discovered that he didn't love my mom even after 13 years of me being alive. <laughs> <laughs> iOS 16 on the iPhone now allows users to edit and also unsend messages sent by iMessage. Now people won't be hit by their overwhelming sense of regret and sending drunk text messages at 3 a.m. to their ex's farmyard Frankie on a Saturday after a long night of partying and drinking my, their feelings. I love you, Frankie Poo. <laughs> it's officially film festival season. And that means celebrities of all types are appearing on the red carpets, often using their appearances to make political statements. Here's a look at former first lady and never president, not for a lack of trying, Hillary Clinton, who attended the Venice Film Festival to deliver plans to destroy the second Death Star. <laughs> the hit prequel to Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, has been snubbed by the Emmys despite having 46 Emmy nominations since 2015. I mean, imagine being Bob Odenkirk and having a heart attack on set and you still don't win an Emmy. I would absolutely lose my mind and possibly start a meth empire to prove myself as worthy. <laughs> Since the Queen Elizabeth's passing, people have mourned in their own unique ways. The royalists mournfully sang, God Save the King, and the Irish danced in front of Buckingham Palace, and newly crowned King Charles III joined in by removing his flesh mask to remind us that within all monarchs are whores behind, beyond human comprehension. <laughs> A Netflix comedy show about the new, about the last blockbuster story called Blockbuster is set to premiere November 3rd. And I can say that I will disappear like Blockbuster if I have to pay one more cent for Netflix's disgustingly high subscription prices. This just in, we received word that the queen owned a solid go Wiimote at her time of death. <laughs> Next week now, we'd like to take back all the jokes made about the queen and her passing to say RIP to a fellow gamer. <laughs> America and other nations around the world have rejoiced this past week as Queen Elizabeth II finally passed away. 
In fact, here in the United States, we celebrated so hard that we did the unthinkable. We actually forgot 9-11. We will never let it happen again. The 21st anniversary, in fact, congratulations 9-11. You can now drown the sorrows in cheap whiskey and Malibu red. Fly high. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, this is what I got. Wow. I got this uh, real crazy board game from this uh, real crazy story on you as a child. Do you guys want to play? Yes. So, Sweet. here we go. And you're right here. And now, guys, whatever you do, do not play it. Don't touch it. Don't open it until I get back, right? Just leave it there. Leave it alone. BRB. So we're gonna touch this thing, right? Oh, oh that's cool. Yo, dips on the gold one. Why do I suddenly have a craving for sparkling water? Why am I so horny? Nice. Dang it, again? I mean, I don't really like being a short guy, but at least I get rigby now. Well, I guess this was bound to happen. Wait, holy balls, did we just switch bodies? Yeah, this has happened to me before. Really? Yeah, do not buy weed from a gas station in Brazil. Yo, Guillermo, you doing alright? No. Wait. I thought I was Guillermo. Now. I don't know what to think anymore. Where's the iced coffee? Yo, where's Robbie? He needs to fix this mess. Yo, Robbie, what? Oh my god, Ferrari switched bodies with Robbie. Wait, no, that's just Ferrari. You know, this is actually pretty epic. Like, think of all the things we can do. Charles Manson and his so-called family. Guys, we need to find Robbie. I really need to pee, and I'm only comfortable doing that in my body. Wait, guys, I think it's only been a couple minutes. We could probably still go find Robbie right now. Let's go! Guys, come on! <sighs> Guys, okay, let's just split up and then maybe we can find it. Rally! I'm literally Jake, but this is Kate's voice, doi. Ah, uh, well, uh, these pretzels are making me thirsty. <laughs> That didn't happen. In 26 West? That doesn't, that doesn't, yeah. that doesn't make any go. sense. Yeah. yeah, can you just, can you just you've been staring at nothing for the last five years. You've got all the $500 bills, come on, man. Yeah, of course, oh, you're on. Oh my god. Oh god. Grab it up!
I'm clapping up. Everybody, you ready for a good time? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I'm your host for today. Uh, I forgot my name. <laughs> but um, I'm supposed to be filling in for a guy named Joseph Chavez. You know, the, the producers found me on the street outside after they couldn't find him. So I'm a little nervous. <laughs> but uh, let's see. If you haven't noticed, next week now is going through a bit of a rebrand this season. Yeah, the Oracles told us the old branding was getting, well, old. No, in this modern marketplace, you got to stay on top of the times. Appeal to the Zoomers, you know. New logo, new theme. It's all pretty fresh and exciting. What you don't know, though, is that the first step in a greater plan Next up, diversifying the brand. Zoomers love flashy brands, but they love consuming even more. Am I right? Yeah! So we're broadening the company to accommodate this. Now, you love next week now the show, I assume, and you'll love it as a mildly entertaining Twitter account, I assume, but soon you'll be able to enjoy it and pretty much every facet of your life yeah. in product form yeah. <laughs> now the next week now app this app will predict what happens in your day it is 100 percent accurate now because if the predictions don't come true the next week now tracking apparatus in your neck will explode violently can i get a yeah oh. Woo. Now, next week, now, Couture. Yep, our very own clothing brand. It's fashionable, it's cheap, but more importantly, it is cheap. Yeah. <laughs> now, that's because it's made on the low with totally legit overseas African child labor. What? Nah, at least it gives those kids something to do. <laughs> now, uh, one more thing up my sleeve. Oh, oh. The next week now beverage. Woo! Now, this thing is amazing. Let me tell you. <laughs> it is gross. Good! <laughs> but um, that's all looking too far into the future. Our very next venture launches next week, not today. Now, I got the green light to share it with you all. Introducing. Wait, drum roll please. The now! Now this digital platform will <clears throat> allow us to share fun and entertaining listicle content to a much broader demographic than the show could ever hope to reach. Basically, we'll have articles, uh, games, lists, and other low effort content that will be so low as common denominator that there will be no way we won't make any money. And that's on God. <laughs> Here. Yeah. Let me read to you all of some of the fun games we already have prepared for when the site launches. Which US war criminal are you? <laughs> Try not to laugh. Next week now edition. Insanely easy. <laughs> parents marriage tester. Test how much your parents still love each other. Sorry for the last host. <laughs> uh, I'm not a fan of these games. Sorry, right, well, how about some lists? Yeah. These 25 images of dogs might get some type of reaction out of you. Maybe. <laughs> The most 16, most epic laryngitis related means we could find. Are you the problem? 50 reasons why you may be the cause of your own downfall. 
No, that morally corrupt character is not just like you for real. You're just a bad person. <laughs> Nothing still? Okay, fine. Maybe I can sell you with some excerpts from informative articles you can find on the now. Uh, oh, here's one. The most perfect, can you lower the prompter, lemon pepper chicken recipe. All right, get your notebooks out. It's one bottle of cough syrup, a <laughs> canister uh, of iodine and my... Then add muriatic acid, bring a pot of water to a rapid boil, then... <laughs> I recognize that recipe. That's not legal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the AI we have to write these articles, we're in a bit off the rails there. But, uh, you know, I mixed up something else with the recipe for lemon pepper chicken and all that. <laughs> but you'll have a good time with that one, too. I guarantee. <laughs> now, look... In any case, I think we've sold you on this, yeah? Yeah! <laughs> All right, good, good idea. Look, we're, we're weaponizing clickbait, sure. Whatever. Targeting vulnerable demographics. <sighs> Fine, sure, you got us. Maybe. But in the end, it'll make us a lot of money. So it's a win for everyone! Yeah! <laughs> you guys aren't getting the money. <laughs> So, I'd say, look forward to the next week when the now launches. Remember, the first 10 site viewers get a free NWNFT. That's right, NWNFTs are a thing. And they're even more worthless than the regular NFTs. Thank you for letting us advertise too. Now, let's hear about paddling. Woo! Oh, this next story is really dear to me. And honestly, it brings me back to my own childhood. <laughs> what is it? Corporal punishment. <laughs> More specifically, paddling. Now, a school district in southwestern Missouri is bringing back paddling. However, the community stands divided, with some parents saying that the practice is archaic and inhumane and the parents who aren't white are saying Which, when translated to English, means beat them. <laughs> Personally, I'm against it completely. And let me tell you why. You know, back in the day, back in the orphanage, that is, we would have lunchtime at 1.35 p.m. every day. And during lunch, they would line all the kids up, send them through the cafeteria to get their foods. And that line, and that line was a little boy, going to be bigger than yay high. No, he would go through the line two times. Two times. He would go through and he'd grab an extra piece of ham or whatever type of meat they were serving that day. And he would give it to his little brother because he was just so hungry. And you know what? Every day, he got caught. Don't laugh at that. <laughs> the punishment was no joke. You ever seen Matilda? <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I didn't feed the kids on the weekend. <laughs> he would get beaten with a paddle till he was blue in the face and the cheeks. <laughs> That's why I'm against paddling. It just broke my heart to have to beat him every day. <laughs> What I learned in my time as headmaster of the orphanage <laughs> is that you can't just keep beating the kids. And I personally sign off on beating kids in moderation. I mean, my parents did it to me. 
You know, their parents did it to them, and I do it to those dumb preschoolers on the playground. You know, around the good old glory days. <laughs> but I mean, paddling creates kids who are capable of violence. And as a nation, do we need that? No! No! Yeah. We need kids who are capable of great, great, what's the word? Cruelty! Yeah! Great cruelty! Our children are weak! Look at the state of the world today! The kids ain't alright! Sure, I mean, children are a miracle, but not all of them are a gift from God, no. Some of them we've got a whip in his shape. I mean, I've got a kid. At least my ex-wife says he's mine. Doesn't look nothing like me. I don't think. No, and let me tell you, he's always misbehaving. I beat him and beat him and beat him till he's green. And he still comes up to me asking for lunch money when he knows the cost of gin is up this time of year. <laughs> now, there's only one thing that works, and it ain't physical violence. It's psychological torture. Yeah! <laughs> Honestly, there's no reason to ever hit a child. They're easy to manipulate. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, Missouri. What you've got to do is what I did. Weaponize. Say it with me. Your love. Your love. Obviously. Because that's all the little brats want. <laughs> now the last time my son acted out, I just sat him down. And I started packing his things. He asked me, aren't you going to hit me, Dad? <laughs> And I said, no. And then he asked me, but I did something wrong, didn't I? And I told him, yep. And then he said, wow, how come you ain't doing nothing then? And you know, I, I, I bent my knees. I looked him in his eyes, you know, I, I said it plain and clear. I said, there's no point to it. I just don't love you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Bastard ball all night. <laughs> Hasn't been bad since. <laughs> that was before I lost my home. Anyway, I think I can speak for all of you, T, and everybody else in this audience here, when I can say that the Missouri School District is on the right track, and they're doing a heck of a job for trying. But they can do better. <laughs> they can do more. Speaking of doing more, let's go see our very own correspondent host for the Alabama game. Go Roll Tide! Woo! Roll Tide! Roll hey guys, my name is Ron John, and today we're going to be covering the... <laughs> UT Bama game. The UT Bama game. I'm so excited. Tell, tell me about your friend Dylan. You should deeply consider interviewing Dylan Sharp. Why, why would he be such a great interview for me to have? He's got a lot, he's got a lot of range, he's got, he's got the comedy, he's got the... He's, uh, yeah, he's, he's that's good. all I got, that's he's all I got. Really yeah. I noticed you're wearing some red and some orange. Uh, who are you, I'm confused, who are you going for here? That's a, this is a... That's a, this is a... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Uh, I didn't mean to just open that up on that's you. That's okay, I appreciate it. Unless, it's a cold world. Yeah. It is a cold world. It is a cold world. Hey, cheers. Cheers to you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I respect that. Yeah. You, you, know, you know I have beverage, but cheers. I don't have... I wish I could. If, they, if they'd if they let me drink on the job, I would. Right, but they got cameras. Yeah, y'all don't, don't let them drink on the job? No. Hey, yell at this guy. This guy right here. Yeah, what the f***? Oh, my boy, bro. Whoa, whoa. You got my boy in the mix, bro. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Bama. That's all I yes, gotta say. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bama. That's all I got. 
Hey. Wait, wait, who, who do you guys work for? I gotta know my company. I gotta know my company. You don't work for nobody. Work for no, hey, hey, no W2s. Hey, we, hey, we, we, we self made, man. You face our camera, you face your camera. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I face this way. I got, a, I got a question for you. I got a question for you. They've been talking about they want to change Bevo's pronouns, bro. How you feel about that? All I gotta say is, who the f made this 11 a.m. game, bro? Yeah, yeah. man. Bro, I know no, y'all signed that petition. Oh, yeah, I know y'all signed that petition. I needed it to be later Jesus in the day. Jesus Christ, bro. I'm Jesus. 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 Hey, all I gotta say is, yeah, they be f***ing each other's cousin in Bama. They do. Yeah. You know, the queen just died. The queen just died. It's a big loss for Alabama because they just lost their main representative for cousin f***ers. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 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 oh. oh. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> how, you, how, how you feeling about the game? Feel pretty good. Yeah. How you I don't know about Quinn, but I feel like Hudson can get the job done. Hudson, like from the Cars movie, or? Bag of quarterback, Hudson card, like I guess. Yeah, okay. So, 10, 10 to 10, good. We'll see how the second half goes. Like the determination, like, you know. Wait, are, are we in frame? Uh, yeah, mostly. I'm, I'm chopping off a little bit of your ear. Okay, well, I don't want you to chop off the ear, Well, okay? it's close quarters, Edgar. Well, well, I want you to figure it's your job to get on camera, okay? Yeah, it's your it's job. It's, it's your, your job. job. It's, it's my job is to, it's my job is to interview people. How long have you been doing this? How long have you been doing this? Okay, 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 sorry. He's kind of a piece of But anyways, uh, how are you feeling today? Yeah, man, no, this is very exciting, like awesome, it's like buzzing. Yeah. It's a good time. I'm not feeling great. No, no, we're competing, like, this is a good time. It's 10 to 10 at halftime. Oh, no, I, I, I just don't feel great in general. Uh, that's, that's a you. That's you. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Wait, 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 one well, last thing, last thing. Can you say something for our Latino audience back at home? Playing Spanish. Hey. Oh, I don't speak Spanish. Oh, uh, okay, uh, do you know what puñetas means? You know what puñetas means? That's like, how, like let's go! They say puñetas. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's true. Vamos puñetas! Vamos puñetas! Yeah, alright, thank you for your time. These, these young guys here say that they're really good Spanish speakers. Okay. Spanish started Spanish. Okay, what are, what are some words you guys know in Spanish? Como te llamas? Como te llamas? Gracias. Gracias. What's Pokemon in Spanish? Puñetas. Puñetas! Puñetas! Yeah, alright. Thank you guys for your time. Okay, wait. We're gonna wait for it to come back. I'm gonna wait for it to come back around. Watching our show, we really appreciate it and all of the support that we get from our viewers. It really means a lot of us. Wow. Now, we're bringing it back to good old gray school, everybody, tonight, folks. We are having our very own next week now show and tell. Woo! Oh, now you love me. <laughs> so, this is how this is going to work. One of these losers is going to bring something and you'll judge their whole character on it, am I right? And they have to redeem their status by explaining why in the world they brought it. And if it's not a valid enough reason, well, that's all right, everybody, cuz 
Me and my special little friend here will tell them what I think. <laughs> They'll be pelted with this Nerf Blaster. <laughs> now isn't that gonna be fun? <laughs> oh well. I wish that some of these darts are real. Anyway, let's get some people up here. Come on! Who's the first victim? Can you state your name for the camera? Kate. Kate! Say something. So what you got here, little party? Little, um, I brought uh, my old PSP, um, and when you open it, the <laughs> like the movie. That's real cool. Oh, please, please, Donnie, I'm not feeling well today. I <laughs> please, I like, I really can't do this right now. No, no, that's a really cool gift. How do we think that's cool? You decide. <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> I still can't hear you. <laughs> Man, well, you know what? It sounds like they don't like you, Kate. Donnie, <laughs> please. I'm not sure when this ends. Let's find out together. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. Please, please, Donnie, no, please, please. Oh, you can get off stage. Let's give it up for Kate. <laughs> Next person on. Who's up? Who's brave? Who feels like getting shot? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Give it up, give it up, give it up. What's your name? I'm Farish. Farish! Woo! I brought my antidepressants. Oh. <laughs> How much are you selling them for? <laughs> I need these or else I'm going to jump How much are you selling them for, buddy? A bridge. I'll jump off a bridge. <laughs> Let's see. Do we like Ferris's antidepressants? No! No! Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Today's not your happy day. <laughs> well, here's what's going to happen next. I'm going to shoot you, and you're going to get off stage, okay? Okay, now keep still. Can you tell me where? Dang it, I still can't do this. Ah, there we go. <laughs> next person on. Who's up? Who's next? I, I, I brought a bird in here. <laughs> oh, crap. Flying rodent with wings, and I just... <laughs> I'm shot! Ah! Friendly fire! Friendly fire! Friendly fire! I'll set myself out! Get out! Get out! Who's next? God! Is that it? Oh, my favorite party! What's your name? Uh, I'm Robbie. Sorry, I thought I saw the bird. <laughs> what you got here, Robbie? Which one of these is yours? I brought myself. Well, you're a fine specimen, Robbie. Tell me a bit more about yourself. Well, you know, I, I'm a guy who like... Yeah, you're a guy? I like movies a lot. I more watch. of like a man to me. <laughs> it's not happening, buddy. Yeah, keep on, keep on. You like sunsets? Uh, I'm more of like... You like me? <laughs> it's not happening. Don't be so scared, Robbie. I ain't got a gun. It's fake anyway. Oh, that's a shame. It's a little hot in here, isn't it? <laughs> you got anything else to say, Robbie? Um, your mom. Oh. Oh. I've always was a mother's boy. <laughs> you get off. We'll talk later. You're not gonna shoot me? Nah. Oh. I'll shoot my shot later. <laughs> oh. Robbie! Robbie! I'm gonna get shot with a nerf ball tonight, but okay. Maybe later. <laughs> Anybody up next? Who feels brave? Oh, look at this poor soul. What's your name? What's your occupation? Social security guard number? Favorite Gemini? Don't act like you don't know my name. <laughs> don't act like you don't know my name. I'll get the money. No, I no. I'll get you your money. It's okay. I'll get you your money. It's been years since you came home. <laughs> it's been years since you've come home. And now I see you with this guy over here. You wanna know what I brought for show and tell? I brought our daughter. 
Tell her, tell her, tell her, tell her, wait. Look her, look at her. And I see you over here. I'm sorry, buddy, I don't know who you are. I see you over here. Oh, would you look at that? Hey, look at that. It's the end of the bit here. Wow. Give me a round of applause. Woo! 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 You get out of here. That's it. Now you get it. You get it. You don't come back. Look at what you're doing. You get it. You don't come back. She's crying. Uh, hey, look at this. Who are you? Please tell me I don't know you. <laughs> I brought my best friend. Come here, buddy. This is my, this is my, this is my best friend. <laughs> His name is Nick. I love him so much, and I'm so excited to have him here tonight. Dude, can we go home? I got work tomorrow. No. <laughs> we are supposed to be here for, for a while, and listen, I just want you to hold this. Are you okay, Nick? <laughs> love, I love you, buddy. Do you need to get out? <laughs> Don't look back. Anybody else? <laughs> You're mine now. Who's up? <laughs> Ugh, I lost him again. That's why I can never keep a good man. <laughs> um, I misunderstood. I just brought a board game. I have fun playing this board game. Um, that that that's about it. Yeah. I, I don't have a bird, a daughter, or a slave best friend. It's just Mexicoopoly. They prefer indentured servant. Yes. Sorry. Um, I like the Ciudad de Mexico card. What's your name, buddy? My name's Ronan. Hey, Ronan. Can you name three cities in Mexico? Um, Ciudad de Mexico, um, Tijuana, y Juarez. Ah, I can't get mad at that. I love Mexico. Viva la Mexico! Woo! Do we got anybody else up who's feeling brave? Hello. What's your name? Hello, I'm Levi. Can we give it up for Levi? Woo! Are you gonna sing us a little fancy song there? Uh, actually, yeah. Um, I wanna do something very important right now. Um, I wanna honor our very, your highness, majesty, uh, Queen Elizabeth II. <laughs> so, don't oh mind. some of those foam darts were real. Woo! Anyways, for my next prediction, I predict that we're gonna have a lovely little guest right here. And if you remember the news from last week, I can't read because I don't have any access to the internet ever since my home burnt down. Yeah! Yeah! You left us. Woo! Now, about somewhere in North Carolina, some school there took the initiative to baptize over a hundred middle school and high school students. Without their parents' permission, of course. But still, that's great. Amen for that. Woo! Well, it turns out one of the students had already been baptized, and his parents are concerned that the second baptism undid the first. Without a concern. Now, Tonight and next week now, we, just ha we have just a solution for that problem. Please welcome to the stage, the double baptized boy, Aiden Smith. Woo! All right. Welcome to the show, Aiden. I'm so glad to have you here. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Don't touch me. Okay. Now, first, I have to know, what made you decide to get your second baptism? 
Oh, sorry. I, I zoned out for a second. Uh, to be honest, all my friends were doing it, and it just looked like fun. I mean, anything to skip math class, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> you got that right, buddy. Nothing worse than crunching those numbers. Speaking of math, shouldn't one <coughs> baptism plus another baptism equal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15... Two baptisms? <laughs> no, that's still a positive number of baptisms, am I right? Well, you, you would think that, but it turns out that baptism, is, it's kind of like binary system. So it's like uh, you can only have like one or, or zero. So. Mm, interesting. And it's, it's kinda, do you feel uh, any different? I feel so cold now that you mention it. That's whatever, that's just the studio. Well, don't you worry, Aiden, you don't have to be cold any longer, because we have arranged to give you your third baptism here on air. Are you excited, little buddy? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Now, here next week, now, we got all the proper documentation, including your birth certificate, your parents' marriage license, uh, and a baptism registration form and a signed permission slip from your parents. Not your real parents, though. <laughs> Two of our interns who are practicing Christians, thank God, have agreed to be your godparents. Have agreed to be your godparents. Where are they? Have agreed to be your godparents. Ah, here they are. Talk about comedic timing. <laughs> Let's welcome them to the stage. Now, you may be wondering, what makes me qualified to deliver a baptism to you? Me, a guy they found on the street about 45 minutes ago. Nothing. <laughs> but, you know, lucky for us, according to the church and an emergency, any person, even a non-Christian heathen down on his look like me, can perform a baptism as long as... There is a emergency, as long as, you know, you get the proper words and water are used. In order to make this situation an emergency, we have arranged just uh, something special. You'll see. <coughs> We're going to start a fire. <laughs> Again. <laughs> now, do you agree that this fire poses a potential threat to your life and your livelihood? Uh, I guess so. Well, by the power invested in me, this water contains holy water. And if I say the magic words, whenever you are ready, you will be baptized. Even if I gotta force it to happen. Do you consent? Because we care about consent on this show. Do you consent, Aiden? Yeah, yeah, I, I, do I, what, what do I have to lose? <laughs> Your Holy Spirit. <laughs> now I baptize you in the name of the Father! Uh, the Son! Uh, uh, Stop crying. The tears come later. <laughs> and the Holy Spirit! Ah! Uh, the power of press compels you! The power of press compels you! Oh. oh! What's wrong? Are you okay, little buddy? Silence, mortal. You're a little wet. Everything is fine. I have simply ascended to a higher plane of existence. <laughs> okay, but uh, how do you feel? I no longer feel in the way that you mean. I feel every atom in every infinite universe. I can see stars colliding in distant galaxies. <laughs> I exist simultaneously across the past, the future, and the present. Do you say the future? I have glimpsed into the mind of eternity, perhaps the mind of God, and found enlightenment. So I guess you could say, I feel fine. You said the future, right? Indeed. But let me tell you, ever heard of a little show called Next Week Now? I have no use for such triviality. I must now leave. Dang it, I missed him. All right, well, that's all. Come back next week and maybe I'll have a home. <laughs> have a good night, everybody. See you next week. <laughs> Woo! Woo! 
Ah!